We had this essay. This is High Priestess Ashodhara Singh. Welcome number seven for those of you born on the 7th, the 17th, the 25th. Add up your date of birth, not the month, not the year. And if it comes to a number seven, then you're in the right place because this video covers the predictions for the month of Feb 2024. The central theme of the month is described with the help of three oracular cards from three different decks. You have Lord Shiva's deck, you have the Monology deck and the Dragon Oracle deck. The four weeks in a month are described with the help of four cards from four different decks. You have the Wiccan Tarot, Smith Waite, Celtic Dragon Tarot and the Dragon Tarot. Alright, number seven, let's see what we have for you for Feb 2024. For the central theme, you've pulled out Damru. It's all about change. The new moon in Virgo that says a time to give rather than take. And the fire chalice card. So I'm going to read out what this means. So we're talking about change here for the central theme for you, number seven, for February. You need to prepare yourself for change that is coming your way or already the process has already started. Uh, the outcomes will be can be either or favorable or unfavorable, but it is happening in such a situation, right? Um, where it is imminent that it's about this change is happening, whether you like it or not, whether it's going to move your way or not. Um, it's all about how do you prepare your mind and control all the negativity and pessimism and doubts that you will be surrounded by it's but natural none of us are conducive to change but we are bound by it so we have to adapt to it the faster you adapt the better the results in terms of high vibes and positivity for you that's all you gotta do okay stay strong the new moon in virgo this card speaks about this is the time to give rather than take instead of asking people to support why don't you give support instead of asking people to back you up why don't you back others up Instead of asking people to fall in line to your plans and ideas, why don't you see what people around you have as plans and ideas? So be a little more, uh, less self-absorbed is what this card means. The fire chalice of the Queen Alba, the Queen of the Dragons, is known to guard uh, the chambers where the elemental chalices are kept. And one of these elemental chalices is the fire chalice. This card speaks about your strength of spirit energy. You need to have stronger spirit energy to battle and overcome what it is that you're about to face. Ensure that your spirit energy is high. There are many, many ways to practice that. One of them being consistent meditation, uh, breathing exercises, um, checking yourself and watching yourself, your thoughts. And of course, to increase your spirit energy, you can always have a dragon spell done. We do it on a Sunday normally. All right, the first week. Of Feb 2024, number seven, you've pulled out the High Priest card, the Hermit card, the Knight of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. These are good cards. Okay, so three out of four means automatically you qualify to receive the blessings of the angels. The High Priest card is here to say that you could be a Taurian or dealing with one. This card also means, this is also the Hierophant card, okay? This card means that <coughs> there is an element of magic in your life. And uh, you will be either conducting or attending a ceremony. Don't move away from it. It will be religious in nature because this is something important. During this time, you will either meet someone or get a Eureka moment idea. <coughs> the Hermit card is here to say that you could be a Virgo or dealing with one. This card also means that uh, you need to self-introspect. You need to see a little more about where are you coming from and where are you moving towards right um, and what your plans are <coughs> the knight of swords uses a lot in spell casting this card speaks about in a situation uh, where you are uh, wondering whether you should stop or take a deviation in your path you are being asked by the universe to charge ahead with no fear it's a good card and a beautiful card they use a lot in spell casting you all know this is a money card the Wheel of Fortune card is here to say that you have been blessed by the planet gods of Jupiter or the planet Brihaspati in Hindi, like we say. And this card says that luck and finance are yours for the taking in the first week. All right. Now let's move on to the second week. For the second week, you've pulled out number seven, the Judgment card for Feb. Three of Coins or the Three of Pentacles. The Tower card and the Death card. 
<coughs> okay, so no, no. Now let's do again. You pull out. You're pulling out a lot of major arcana cards, which is great. <coughs> this is not so great. You need to you need to check your karmic baggage, and uh, this also means how are you behaving with yourself. That's more important. Are you being nice to yourself? If not, then that is karmic baggage. Karmic baggage doesn't always mean that you're being nice to others. It can also be mean you're being nice to yourself or not. Right? So give that some thought. Have it released. Um, otherwise, it will create small minor irritants and obstacles in your path. Three of coins, three of pentacles tells me that uh, there are money talks happening with you bang in the center. And it's a good thing because it's showing up in your reading, which means that this is something that will work in your favor, right? In the financial aspect of your life. The tower card, um, this card is actually a challenge card because something that you were expecting to finish will now finish earlier than what you expected it to. Having said that, you need to now be strong for not just yourself but everybody else and walk through these frames, ride the wave so to speak and come out stronger just like a diamond. The death card tells me that you could be a Scorpio or dealing with one. This card means that there is an end to a belief system. Something that you were following earlier is no longer of use to you now. And you're now putting it back in the shelf where it belongs and starting a brand new journey with a brand new belief system. The third week of Feb 2024, number seven, you pulled out the Four of Cups, the Page of Wands, Page of Swords, and the Six of Cups. So you are going to be receiving a lot of messages in the third week of Feb. Oh, number seven, the Four of Cups is here to say, that you seem to be quite disappointed about something that has been offered to you. This is something that you were expecting to be in a better and bigger proportion than what you have received. And that disappointment is now converting into a lower vibe. And that vibe is now attracting, um, you know, lower experiences. Experiences that make you more and more disappointed. You know the reason why very well by now? The universe is giving you exactly how you feel, right? So if you want to change these experiences, you need to change how you feel page of wands is here to say that you will be receiving a creative message or giving out one the energy is going to be uh, not just creative but also youthful energetic and communicative and someone may also be receiving a, um, a an award an accolade or recognition in your family or in your known circle of friends page of swords you will be receiving or giving out a harsh message if you're receiving a harsh message uh, understand uh, what it is instead of retaliating in the same tone and tenor if you are the one who's doing it ensure that this harsh message that you're sending out is the last result not your first result okay six of cups tells me that you are going to have uh, flashes and memories of childhood you will be nostalgic about the times which are better than what you're going through now um, and much of it will have to do with responsibility right and accountability and also uh, there might be somebody from your past who might enter your re-enter your life and uh, know this that they want something from you it's not a coincidence and the last week of Feb 2024 number seven you pulled out the three of wands king of swords nine of coins of the nine of pentacles and the five of wands right so let's do this first Three of Wands tells me that you have made a decision in terms of the multiple choices that you had in front of you and yet you're not willing to take a move or, you know, um, walk this path because you don't want to let go of the other options. Understand this, that the universe will take a decision for you and you will not like it. So ensure that you take the decision and be in control of your life. This card also means that you might be planning a trip by the water. King of Swords, don't go by the gender. You could be a female also. This card means... That it could be a Gemini or dealing with one. This card also means that you are being a little more stern as compared to who you really are. Um, because you want to have the job done. You seem to be responsible for the job at hand. And because of that, you're swishing your sword and being a little more stern, a little more serious. Okay? And so don't be hard on yourself. Everyone understands that if they don't, you need to tell them that this is the need of the hour. In short, it's your neck on the line. So it's makes sense okay just don't go crazy and vain in terms of power nine of coins don't go by the gender you could be a male also this card means that uh, you are going to be attracted to all the luxurious items um you know 
like a fancy watch or a fancy jewelry item or fancy vehicle a fancy clothing item you know anything fanciful um you know shiny and expensive because that's the kind of money energy you're emanating out people will also come up to you and uh, your friends will also you know try to be close to you because they'll feel very lucky when after having spent time with you because all monetary gains is what you're about this is your vibe a don't lose it by giving it all away and letting people easy access into this vibe of yours and b if you're not matching this vibe then get in touch with us for a vibe switch is the right time to invest etc okay and make money five of wands this is a card that says everyone is at loggerheads when it comes to the decision that you seem to have taken they are not in agreement with you they're not being supportive of you in fact they're giving you some uh, small talk in terms of giving you a piece of their minds and that's disappointing me that's upsetting you because you expected them to support you listen you can't please everybody if this path is something that you are determined to walk and you are sure this is the best for you then i think you should walk without hurting or harming anyone all right enough said all right number seven that's all i have for you very interesting dynamic uh, um, reading we did for the month of feb for you remember this is a general prediction and not a customized one get in touch with us if you want a customized reading and uh, apologies once again for the coughing bout that i had just recovering from a bad cough i will see you uh, in the month of march take care of yourselves until then love light and knowledge to you all be at this essay and om sarve bhavantu sukhinam